Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Here I am with a hair tutorial and all you will need is a one inch curling iron, a flat iron, and some duckbill clips. Let's get started. I start off by brushing my hair out, of course, and I use a heat protector. The one I'm using here is by Icy. This one is just a basic heat protector. It's like $8.99 at like a basic beauty supply. And right here I'm using my holy freaking grail curling iron. I've had this for so many years and I just love it. It's perfect. I, I love the temperature that it goes to. And then this is a flat iron that I've had for a long time as well. It's called the Vibe Straight. It vibrates. It has a vibrate setting and on that setting they say it's supposed to make your hair straighter when you um, have it on the vibrate setting and I feel I believe that it works honestly <laughs> but anyways yeah and then I'm using some duckbill clips because I'm gonna pin curl um, the hair and you can get those at a beauty supply as well they're like a dollar fifty or whatever um, right here I'm taking my curling iron and I'm just heating the top of my hair where I'm not really gonna be wrapping around the curl just to like make it look smooth you know when you run the curl the heat through your hair it makes it gives it a smooth look so that's why I do that and I just wrap it around starting from the middle hold it for about 15 seconds and then let it loose and I take my two fingers and I wrap the curl around and then I get a duck bill clip and I just pin curl it loosely. So just continue to do that with your entire head. So make sure when you're curling, you're curling away from your face. And the best way to accomplish that is by holding your curling iron with the, the front part straight up, if you know what I mean. You see what I'm doing. You see how I'm holding it straight up? That helps you, you know, curl it backwards. So on this front part, um, I'm taking my time a little bit better because it's the front part of my hair and I'm trying to get that sort of like kind of feathered look, feathered bump look. So just curl it backwards and do this curl a little bit tighter and do this pin curl a little bit tighter as well. But you're just doing the same thing with your two fingers and pinning it up like so. Now that I'm working on the opposite side, I'm just going in the opposite direction, still going away from my face, still holding my curling iron, going straight up. This is just a technique that works great for me. You should try it out. back up to that front part so make sure you take your time on this part it's the front part of your hair make sure you're curling back and doing this curl a bit tighter and doing this pin curl a bit tighter than all your other pin curls but I don't really want this love to win now just wait it out you know let them cool down a bit and now after about four to five minutes, I'm just taking down each pin curl carefully 
and the ones that are too tight or whatever I'm just fingering through a little bit just because I know what shape I want my hair to be in we're standing in the middle of the desert Waiting for the rain to come again So once you get all your pin curls out, just go through with your fingers and finger through and position where each curl should go in the front. Make sure you have it bumped the way you want it bumped. <laughs> and yeah, you're pretty much finished, guys. And this is just a cute... It kind of turns into waves, even though I did it in a curl sort of fashion. It ends up turning into a cute sort of wave look. So I hope you guys like it and try it out. Good luck!